Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at how can we set up a Revolut joint in Femap. This is a Revolut joint created in SolidWorks. Saved it as a parasolid right here. Save it. Then we can go ahead and import it into Femap. Go to File, Import Geometry. We can go to where your file is, Revolut Joint, import it. It will ask you what uh, title you want and if you want to scale it. Is, is this some small thing that you want 10 times the size, 2 times the size, or just 1 times the size? Leave it as is. For me, 1 times is just fine. Click OK. And here you go. We have a Revolut Joint geometry. Now let's go ahead and set up the details. As you can see we have two components. Let's go geometry. That's one of them. And this is the other one. To be realistic in this uh, setup we're gonna have to make sure that we block off all three translational motions and we allow only one revolute motion. Okay, now let's set up some material for our model. Let's say M1, um, 69.33, let's um, some density, okay. Whatever material you're working with, I'm just guessing stuff here. Doesn't really matter the property. <laughs> So titles, these are two solids, so I'm going to work with solid elements, so I'm going to call them S, uh, element property type solid, okay, and make sure you pick the material, and that's, uh, that's what should be it, okay, and cancel, let's go to materials right here, we can see M1 and our solid 1 but that we just set up. Now let's go to mesh, 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 mesh control, size on solid, here, okay, the uh, tet mesh, okay, let's do the same for the other one, size on solid, this one, okay, tet mesh and default, okay, good, um, Let's go ahead and mesh it. Geometry, solids, we can pick both now. Okay. And tet mesh only. Oh, you can pick or unclick this one, mid side nodes. If you unclick it, you're going to be dealing with uh, just the nodes at the beginning and end of the element, like the i and j, right? And then therefore it's going to work with the linear shape functions. If you leave it clicked, then not just i and j, you will have a k node in the middle of the element as well. So therefore it's going to work with more accurate, like uh, quadratic elements, right? Just a little brush up on theory there. And uh, for me, I'm not interested in accuracy, just uh, the workflow. I'm going to click that off. OK. Okay, hi, where's my mesh? Uh, oh, there you are. Oh. <laughs> element, element type, solid, right? Uh, well, maybe we click it on. It was turned off for some reason. Okay, there you go, there's my mesh. If we turn the geometry off, then we can see only the mesh. You don't want to see that, then there you go. Or the nodes, click it off. I'm going to leave them on. Good. Now let's go ahead and set up our first rigid body element. Those are the ones that are going to allow to set up the revolute joint between the two materials. So make sure you can uh, brush up on your how to hide things in your model because otherwise you'll just have a bunch of stuff that always gets in your way. So model element, we're going to go to type rigid body element. RBE2. Uh, I'm gonna pick the g yellow color for one, one, and then the other one I'm gonna pick a different color so we can uh, kind of see the difference between them. I do not have a master node that I can pick, so I'm just gonna 
new node at center based on all these dependent nodes that I'm gonna select so click node and I'm gonna pick all the nodes on this surface and all the nodes on this surface so go to method on surface this one and this one maybe highlight there you go these are all the nodes that gonna be involved okay there's their identities you don't see this identity yet it did not create it yet only after we click it if you come back here right click edit now you can see it created a center node and it, um, it gave it an identity as well and uh, let's visualize it turn back the mesh and turn off all the solids there you go that's my first RB spider now let's set up the second RB spider for our other uh, geometry other piece that I'm gonna there you go good now uh, let's go model element this one uh, this one I'm gonna put a red again new at new node at center nodes and on surface on this surface and this surface now okay all these everything else good okay cancel now there you go let's hide the geometry and now we can see we have two uh, RB spiders one for one element one one for one uh, solid and one for the other solid right now we need to make sure that the two masters of these spiders are in the same location and let's uh, geometric geometrically coincident right let's take a look at the information of these two by going to list uh, model node and let's do a pick by box so zoom in real good so you don't accidentally pick the uh, slave nodes so there you go okay by ID okay and now you're gonna get the information see we have two IDs good because we know that we have only two masters there we didn't select no other accidentally behind it somewhere further away good and let's check X uh, Y and Z the three coordinates of the two nodes they are exactly the same so they are on top of each other top of each other already we don't need to move one to make sure it's where the other one is so that's good make sure you remember these two it'll help you out in a minute so one two two seven one two two eight now let's set up a spring element that will connect our two masters okay uh, let's see where were these two guys we gonna connect them okay so go to property and I'm gonna call it a spring and we're gonna for the type we're gonna pick the spring damper the C bush kind C uh, C uh, spring damper generalized element a uh, property C bush and what do we want to achieve in this uh, revolute joint we want to allow only a rotation around the z axis therefore one two three the translation in x y and z we want to make sure it doesn't happen and rotation around uh, uh, x around y doesn't happen but around six it does happen so for that we're gonna make sure for the stiffness we're gonna enter some large value all the stiffnesses that I do not want all the direct directions that I want to block a large value and this one I want to allow so I'm gonna leave that as a zero and click OK cancel now let's go ahead and actually set up the element between the two uh, masters element I'm gonna color it I don't know let's do purple and this is where this uh, information is good see I need it's very hard to pick the two nodes the two masters are here because they are on top of each other so it's good to have it have the IDs and we can manually enter one two two seven one two two eight good property make sure you pick 
the spring that we just selected and OK. Cancel. And if you zoom in and uh, turn off the no, turn off the rigids, you can see the sign of the spring damper. OK, good. Now to verify that we set up the correct motion that we want to achieve, we can do a normal modes analysis on this because if nothing is constrained, we will have six near zero frequencies that will happen, right? But out of the six uh, rigid body frequencies, six, six normal modes, we restrain five, so we should see only one that is near zero frequency. So let's uh, do that. I'm going to constrain this surface right here, this one. Okay. I'm gonna fix it, call it wall, okay, good, and let's do the normal modes analysis on it, uh, new, call it whatever, normal modes analysis, okay, not static or whatever, number two, normal modes eigenvalue, okay, and analyze. It's gonna find the first ten frequencies, and we should have only one that is near zero, and that's gonna represent the revolution that we wanted to achieve in this revolute joint. So let's uh, close that one, go to analysis, we have this one, where's the result? All result, there you go. All result. Now what do we see? We have 10 frequencies, right? And what is the first one? 5.8 e to the negative 4. And it's significantly smaller than the next one, which is 119. So this is a uh, uh, near zero frequency. Let's animate it. Okay, what happened? Why are you not moving? Let's see. Hide the geometry. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's moving. What? Why is only that moving? Oh, let's. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so my solid elements were not turned on. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here we can kind of see only the RBEs jiggling around turn on the solid element and there you go it confirms the rotation around the Z right very good that's what we wanted to see alrighty well that's uh, as much as we wanted to cover about Revolut joints well, thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and uh, tune in for the next one